Good afternoon, it's uh, Adil Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the European markets for Monday's trading session, the 5th of March 2018. Please be sure to visit Trade Signal, signals and market updates from leading providers. You can certainly visit www.tradesignal.com. Certainly download the app with the Google Play and the Apple App Store. Okay, so where are we headed, folks? Where's the next direction in this market? Basically, uh, at present, we, we already know we've got a double whammy, first of all. We've got trade war, mercantilism, uh, certainly being promoted by Mr. Trump certainly uh, imposing its steel tariffs etc and that's certainly going to hit growth given the retaliatory measures the likes of uh, canada for example you've got europe as well the uk etc and that certainly doesn't bode well for growth going forward especially with the retaliatory measures that china and japan certainly can implement as well we all know mr trump's an idiot a lot of people thought he was bluffing and now that that, that, that bluff has become reality and the stock market certainly is waking up to that Okay, and that's one of the reasons why I was bearish almost all of 2017 because of this very reason. It's only taken until March 2018 for people to wake up and realize that it's actually true. Either way, uh, the markets, uh, you can have the fundamentals correct, but it's about timing as well. It's one of, my, one of the things for 2017, my timing was really awful. Okay, especially towards the latter part of the year. The first half was good, latter half, very awful, very, very awful. Happy to admit that as well. Okay, so... Um, in terms of uh, the markets and for European markets, as we already know, we've got lower. Uh, Asian markets overnight, Chinese data and Japanese data certainly on the weaker side as well. Uh, on top of that, just to make things worth, we've got the situation in Italy, given the faces of political gridlock as five-star surges in the election. So the five-star party, so basically racism, xenophobia, hatred, enmity, uh, certainly wins. So the seven deadly sins wins. And the uh, the noble virtues certainly fail. That's basically the best way of looking at it. So, concept of uh, love, respect, mutual respect, etc. That certainly has gone down the bin, given the fact that you've got all these racist Hitler parties, Hitler parties, parties certainly rising as well. And that's been led by Mr. Trump's hatred, obviously being spread around the world. So it's, it's our job really to 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 certainly counteract that as well. Okay. Either way, that's a status quo. Hatred win winning at present, and uh, obviously that. Uh, and also remember this as well. Uh, when I studied economics at university. Uh, military wars are always preceded by economic wars and that's exactly what we're witnessing today it certainly doesn't bode well okay we're certainly going backwards okay prior to world war one or world war two either way that's the status quo then okay in terms of economic numbers as well this morning so european data certainly coming on the weaker side as well okay so again certainly indicating risk aversion there too oil prices certainly under pressure copper under pressure etc etc Okay, so that's basically the status quo. In terms of the uh, technical picture, let's just quickly give you an insight into that. German DAX obviously has been absolutely hammered uh, from the get-go uh, overnight. Uh, having said that, though, it has made a, an impressive, impressive recovery. Uh, now the pivot low we can see here, we we were below eleven set, we were below eleven eight hundred at one stage. We obviously uh, recovered from that. Uh, again, in terms of support, now you're looking at support around eleven nine hundred and possibly eleven eight fifty again. So. Let's see if we can make a base around this region, around 11,900. You're looking at 11, couldn't you? We've touched almost 12,000. Uh, impressive that rally there. Again, looking for a reversal, 11,900, 11,800. And those are the potential support zones. You've got a gap fill above at 12,200. So let's see if that market can certainly hold that zone. In terms of the daily chart, you can see the uh, German DAX certainly was butchered. Um, pre market, it was trading around the 11,700 zone certainly has rescued itself or certainly has been rescued by the buyers and you can see what we are made we have made a base around the 11830 now can that base hold that's the question okay we'll certainly find out fundamentals at this very moment in time certainly don't argue towards that okay in terms of the french cac certainly moving lower here looking to potentially retest 11 or 5080 5050 so watch out for that zone below daily chart as well certainly has held up well um, I was expecting 5050 support and obviously gap fill around 5030 to, to close as well. That hasn't been the case thus far. Let's see if that can transpire. Okay. In terms of the FTSE 100, uh, let's just look at it on a daily chart first and foremost. Again, certainly being threatened. That key support zone now around that 7070 zone. Certainly being threatened. So again, let's see if we can hold that. If we fail to hold that, you're going down to test six, uh, 7000. Then you're looking at around 6900. So German FTSE 100 certainly under immense pressure at the moment. 60 minute chart holding on to day life. Can we hold this? That's the question. Okay. Can we hold? That's the question. So keep an eye on that as well. In terms of <clears throat> Euro stocks 10 minute chart, you've got potential inverted head and shoulders formation. Watch out there. 60 minute chart as well. Uh, certainly bounced off that key support around 3310. Certainly bounced impressively. Okay. Daily chart as well indicating support in this zone as well. 
gap fill zone or double bottom support let's see if we can hold so a key test here for european indices can will they hold will they break uh, we'll well, times will certainly tell uh, I, uh, nobody holds a crystal ball i don't either but the fundamentals certainly don't look bullish at this juncture having said that markets have ripped in even worse and dire circumstances so watch out for by the f ing dip uh, traders okay on that note please be sure to visit trade signal signals and market updates from leading providers okay and be sure to download the app goodbye now